Shalom, shalom, family. This is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly, and we're getting back into a psalm a day, and today we're going over Psalms 53, so let's get into it. Um, to the chief musician upon Mahalath, Maskil, a psalm of Daud, or David, the fool have said in his heart, there is no Elohim. Corrupt are they, and have done abominable iniquity. There is none that doeth good. So in this discourse um, or song, David is making the, the fact known or just plain that only people that are foolish don't believe that there is a creator. Because especially in this new age thought and this isn't that, you know, I am God. It's one, you know, uh, universal consciousness. And, you know, even though certain things of these theologies may be true uh, in whole, they're faulty. Because they think that they are the creator. Like they created themselves. Um, and a lot of, because of these theologies come about because people don't believe that they have a judgment to pay for in the end. You know, they think that they can just be as corrupt as they want to. Like that there is no good or no evil. You know, it's just anarchy. Then it says, Elohim looked down from heaven upon the children of men. To see if there were any that did understand, that did seek Elohim. So he wants to know who's going to diligently seek me. Who's going to use the key of David. Who, who's really willing to humble themselves with a, a broken uh, spirit, with, with, with contriteness of heart. You know, the most high, his eyes go to and fro throughout all the earth to see. To really, to seek out this matter. Then it says, every one of them is going back. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Because we all fall short. <laughs> when it comes to what we're truly worthy of, none of us are really worthy. But it is his mercy which endureth forever. It's his grace. It's his loving kindness. It's him knowing that, you know, our time is but a vapor. Uh, we're like grass, you know. Here one minute, go on the next. It's because of who he is and not anything that we can do. Then he asks another question. He's like, have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as, the, as they eat bread? They have not called upon Elohim. Because what does the Bible say? My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge because we're not seeking him. But we know that the Torah or the the scriptures, um, that's what wisdom is. That's what knowledge is. Because in that, we, have, we find the principles. We find the ways out. We find um, the truth of the Mosai. And then answers are given to us even supernaturally. Because we're seeking him and the next thing we know, we know exactly what to do. It'll be a dream, a vision, maybe the most I'll send somebody or somebody will call us and we'll know the way to go. Or maybe sometimes it's just an audible voice that you hear and then you you move accordingly because we are humbling ourselves and seeking the most high. Then it says, there were they in great fear where no fear was. For Elohim have scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame. Because Elohim despised them. Because if you're not going to seek him, um, if you don't believe that, that there is a creator, a most high Elohim, like, what? what's the point? <laughs> Why would he fight for you? Especially when it comes to somebody that is seeking him, that is uh, building that relationship, that is uh, communing with him, that is emptying themselves out. You know, our Nahala, our inheritance. 
Because no weapon that's formed against us shall prosper. None. None. And so what happens? They rise up against you. And when that happens, and uh, you are in your, your sound mind, and when you are walking righteously with the Most High, man, your enemies become your footstools. They become laughing stocks. Um, they <laughs> sometimes they die because you're not supposed to touch the anointing of the Most High, and the Most High puts them to shame, and He exalts you if you're willing to submit yourselves to believe that He is the Creator, to believe that He is able. To believe that all things are possible to those who believe. Um, because what is impossible with men is nothing to the most high. Once we get to that point, you truly become limitless in him. It says, oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion, Yahushua. When Elohim bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice. And Israel shall be glad. Our salvation is coming. That's who he is. That is the function that um, the son of the Most High is going to be coming in this, this next time. The salvation of his people. The salvation of those that made sacrifice with him. Of bull and goats. Of a thanksgiving praise. Not bull and goats of blood, but those that send up a whole burnt offering to the Most High. Because Yahuwah is good and his mercy endures forever. So praise him in advance. Use your weapon, use your words, use your thoughts, control your mind, control your emotions. Because they will betray you. Take your mind off of autopilot. Command your mind to obey you. Don't believe in your own self-righteousness. Don't believe in your own riches. Don't believe in your own quote-unquote wisdom. It is but dung compared to what the Most High knows and what He can do. So, Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning. We thank you for our families and for our loved ones, Father. We just want to give thanks to you for our jobs. We thank you for giving us um, health in our bodies, Father, health in our minds, Father. We thank you, Father, for protecting us from all hurt, harm, and danger, Father. We ask for you to remit our sins, Father, and the sins of our ancestors. Father, if anyone's tried to place any type of witchcraft on us, Father, we ask for you to rebuke it. Father, since we are the servants of you, Father, we ask for you to send it back to them, Father, in Yahushua's name, Father. We ask you to... Continue to show us mercy, Father, because we know that your tender mercies and your love and kindness are forever, Father. We ask, Father, for you to lead us and guide us into all truth, Father. We ask for you to make our way plain to us, Father. Um, we ask for you to encamp angels round about us, Father. Um, and again, we ask for your mercy, which you do it forever, Father. Uh, we just want to say thank you for each and every day, for each and every thought, for each and every action. Uh, thank you for creating us, Father. Thank you, um, for your love and for sending your son uh, to die for the world, Father. All these things we do ask and pray in Yahushua's name. Amen. So, again, this was a psalm a day. This was Psalms 53, and this is Yehuda from Yah's Assembly. Salamah.